Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Did you have a good rest, a good sleep? That is awesome. That is awesome. That is so cool. I've got another story for you. This is a warm winter tale. How do humans keep warm at night in the winter, mama? Do they wrap their tails around their bodies just right as the heaters out to the chill? And you see the wolves here and she's uh, answering her little cubby's question. That is so nice. No fur tail for draping, for covering and caping. Their blankets are cotton and wool. So she's telling them how humans keep warm. How do humans keep warm in the winter? Do they dig in the mud, their skin covered with crud, till sunshine warms up their thick shells? No mud soap that's oozing, no crud cloak for snoozing, their mud baths must wait until the spring. So we're talking about tortoises or turtles. See the difference there? How do humans keep warm in the winter, mama? Do they fluff their wings, their feathers, whether the weather, whatever the weather, and shiver to their own heat? No feathers for fluffing, no down coats for puffing. Their bodies are covered with fur. So now, birds are sort of, baby birds are asking their mama, you know, about humans. But you can see the difference with the birds and how they keep themselves warm with their feathers. See? That's awesome. How do humans keep warm in the winter, mama? Do they eat till they're plump, go to sleep in a lump, and wait for spring breezes to come? No snoring and wheezing while cold winds are teasing. In winter, they're active all day. And this is a cub asking a, a, a mama bear about humans, but you can see their difference. You can see their fur keeps them warm in the winter. How do humans keep warm in the winter, mama? Do they grow hollow hair so their coats that they wear trap the heat from their body for warmth? No hair coats for warming. When winter is storming, their jackets have zippers and snap. So now a doe, which is a baby deer, is asking mama deer about humans too. And you can see the difference. You can see the fur on them and how they keep warm in cold weather. How do humans keep stay warm in winter? Do they live in a bunch? taking turns for their lunch with queens staying warm at the core. No queen in the center where no one can enter. Those humans don't live in a swarm. Though this is how bees keep warm in the winter. And this is how they keep their queen warm. The queen is the leader of the bee pack or the lead bee group. So you can see the difference in how each animal keeps themselves warm. How do humans keep warm in the winter, mama? Do they squeeze in a loft and drays full and soft to share heat from their body with friends? No nuzzling them tree nests with room for a new guest. They can't climb up a frozen bitten branch. So now a baby squirrel is asking her mom about the difference between humans and us and keeping warm. Every group has their own uh, special way of keeping themselves warm and keeping their loved ones warm. How do humans stay warm in the winter? Is their sun bright guide as their wings fly and glide to trees where it's warm all day long? No flying on strong wings to flee those winds bring. They wish for the ice and snow. So now we have butterflies. And you can see the difference with the butterflies. They're beautiful too, aren't they? Yes, they are. How do humans keep warm in the winter, mama? Do they skitter below through long tunnels of snow to hide from the winter and cold? No quick toes through snow. They move much too slow and their boots are too big for that trail. So you can see the difference here. Wow. Now they burrow into the ground.
Interesting, very interesting. How do humans stay warm in the winter? Do they hide their, do their body parts freeze, hidden under some leaves while winter goes on up above? No body that's frozen. That's not how they've chosen to spend their long winters inside. So now we see how frogs adapt to cold weather and to winter. How do humans stay warm in the winter, mama? Do they soar low in the sky all alone while they fly many miles to a Mexican home? No flying through skies, no saying goodbyes. Their arms are not made for that trip. You see another species of bird here showing how they adapt. Some fly south for the winter to adapt, you know, to not deal, have to deal with the cold weather. How do animals stay warm in the winter, mama? Do they bundle in clothes, wrapping scarves around their nose and pull on their boots and their gloves? No covering with clothes, no buttons or bows. Their bodies know how to stay warm. So now a little boy is asking his mama, how do animals stay warm? And she, we've sort of shown many examples of how different animals and insects keep themselves warm. And so now she's inside reading a little book in a nice warm home to her son and the deer are looking outside and you can see the snow. So this was a very interesting book. It sort of showed the different ways of how different animals and insects adapt and keep themselves warm in cold weather. So I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you have a great day. And when it's time to rest and go into nap time, sleepy time, you have a good one. So you take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.